Well, they've gone up. And the umpire is not interested. Safra's Amani is very interested. He is showing the ball, saying yes, a quarter, but it's more about the point. Did he hit it or was it glove? Wonderful catch if that has hit the bat. It all depends on the on the soft signal. Is he has he hit the bat? That's the secondary, but is 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 definitely taken the catch beautifully taken. And uh, Rick, we have a umpire umpire field. For a clean catch. If I could see the front foot first, please. Thank you, that's a fair delivery. Can we move on to front on spin vision, please? <laughs> Keep that going through, please. Keep it going through for the catch. Keep it going through for the catch. Okay, the catch has been taken cleanly. You can load on the big screen. The decision is out, please. Well, Pakistan strike late in the evening. The centurion from the first test match, Usman Khawaja, on his way. Caught down the leg side. A wonderful catch from Safraz Ahmed, the captain. And Muhammad Abbas picks up his 50th wicket. Last ball of the day. Oh, it's close. Oh, that's very close indeed. S. Ravi says not out, but I wonder if this will be referred. Yes, they are going to refer it, and with the naked eye, that looked very, very close. Rick, Rick we have a DRS review for LBW, please. If I could start with the front foot, please. Oh, that's fine, that's okay, that's a fair delivery. Move on to front on spin vision, please. Doesn't look like there's any back there. Let's just confirm that, please, with Ultra Edge. Ball coming through now. Flat line, flat line. Yep, we'll go to ball tracking when available, please. Uh, going to go back to Ravi. Ravi, I've got pitching outside off, impact in line, and hitting the wickets. I should change your decision. You're on camera now. So Pakistan will finish on a high. Australia will go to stumps at 20 for two. A good referral by the Pakistan captain. Mohammad Abbas picks up his second wicket. The night watchman, Peter Siddle, he will have to go for four. You'd have to say, well, it's a pretty even day in the end. 12 wickets on the opening day in Abu Dhabi. That's the first time that's ever happened. You're used to seeing big first inning scores. But there we go. Peter Siddle has to go for four. Australia 20 for two at stumps on day one in the second test match in Abu Dhabi. And averages high numbers. Ah! Edge taken. Beautifully bowled. That little angle going across the left-hander. And Abbas is on fire. He's picked up three so far, but that is a big wicket. And Sean Marsh on his way. Well, uh, don't worry about round the wicket. Over the wicket is doing for you. Beautiful delivery. And it carried to the first slip. How good is that? Have not seen a single catch taken in the slip so far in this series. First time it came around, and Harris Sohil pouched it nicely. No, no ball. Don't worry about that. He hardly bowls a no-ball. So that's a big wicket. Wonderful catch taken by Harris Suhail in first slip. Beautiful delivery. Great length. Easy. No problem at all. Pakistan wanted a start, a good start. And this man, Abbas, giving Pakistan a breakthrough once again. 36 for three. Sean Marsh gone for three.
It and take her. That's great bowling. That really is top quality stuff. Beautiful delivery. And Asad Shafiq has taken a, a good catch that went very sharply to second slip. Still can't believe it, but Abbas is unstoppable. What a bowler he's turned out to be. Well, once again, just hitting that hard length. The ball just straightening a fraction from around the wicket. And a very good catch. That flew to second slip and well taken. And I love that celebration. He's very passionate and he's doing a great job for his country. Oh, this time the Yorker. Big appeal for LBW. Was there some bat involved there? S. Ravi's unmoved. Right, just take that right back, please. Take that right back. Ball coming in now. Now take it forward, please, Rick. Ball coming in now. Yeah, one more frame. There's a spike there, but the bat's nowhere near it. Keep going through, please. Ball is missed underneath the bat. Yeah, just take that right back, just, just to make sure that the ball has definitely gone underneath the bat, please. So that's flat line coming in now. Flat line coming in there. Yeah, ball hitting ground. Please go through. Flat line as the ball goes underneath the bat. And now take that through, please. Okay, we'll go to ball tracking when ready, please. Okay. Uh, gents, we're waiting for ball tracking here. Just waiting for some graphics, Ravi, but it... Uh, Ravi, I've got pitching in line, impact in line, wickets is hitting. Ask you to change your decision. Stand by, you're on camera now. So finally we get there. Australia are all out for 145. Mohamed Abbas gets a five wicket haul. Wonderful performance from him. Oh. And just as you talk about it, he gets an outside edge. It was the faintest of outside edges through to the keeper. And that man again, Mohamed Abbas, creates the pressure and gets the breakthrough. Once again, a lovely delivery. And uh, Trevor's head couldn't help himself pushed at it a little bit wider on that occasion a bass and just a tiny edge yeah looking to drive you can hear it and uh, that's Rizwan's first catch in the test match cricket and the bass once again giving an early breakthrough on the fifth fourth day of the test match second wicket gone Australia 71 and Trevor's head Batted quite nicely, only scored 36. Beautiful delivery, just straightened nicely. It was outside the Australian, a little bit fuller, and it just drew Travis Head out and reaching for the ball. Exactly like the probably the first innings where he just played out in front. It looked like he was playing it nice and late, lead up to the deliveries. That's close on the back leg. It's missed the bat. It might have been high. He's deadly accurate. I think it might have been high, but he's hit the seam once again. So a discussion taking place, and they're going to go upstairs. So the vice captain and captain today, Rick, we have Shafiq. a DRS review for LBW. The original decision is not out. I can see the front foot first, please. Thank you, that's a fair delivery. Front on spin vision, please. Of 
Okay, I'm just going to need to see Ultra Edge to confirm no bats, please. Thank you. Clearly no bats. We'll go to ball tracking when ready, please. I'm going to go back. Illy pitching outside off, impact in line. Wickets is hitting. I'm going to ask you to change your decision. You're on camera now. So overturned Richard Ellingworth. The height was always going to be questionable, but as you can see on the replay, it canned in the back leg. It was the seam in the accuracy from Muhammad Abbas, just nipping back. Marsh has got to go, and Australia lose their third wicket. Raised. This is brilliant piece of bowling from Abbas. He's unstoppable, brilliant, a genius at bowling on dead pitches. Straight line, Finch looking to play forward, not out of the crease. Had to be uh, forced back to play from the crease because the keeper was up. Different tactics from Pakistan, but same old stuff from Abbas. Oh, wow. What bowling. Finch forced back into his crease because of the keeper up the stumps. Great tactics, great bowling. And this is just phenomenal performance from that man on screen, Mohamed Abbas. This is a pretty good batting service, and he's still getting something out of it. The end of Aaron Finch. He's made 31. The score now 4 for 78. And we'll have drinks break as well. He sprung a surprise on almost a week. Ah! Beautifully done. Leaving the ball, that one came and shattered the stumps. It's timber time for Abbas. And what about this celebration? That is just phenomenal, phenomenal bowling. And a big celebration. Just checking the front foot, but uh, there's no problems there. Tim Payne, you're on your way. Error of judgment. The ball did come back off the seam, but it was far too close to the off stump to be leaving. Yeah, that's just a that's a mental error there from Tim Payne, the Australian captain. And what a celebration and what a bowler. This is phenomenal stuff. Gone for not Australian captain. Five down Australia, 78 on the board. Abbas is nine wickets in the game. Oh, short chance, is it? And given, yes, Labashain has to go. Ten wickets in the match for Muhammad Abbas. It's like he's thinking about reviewing. Yes, he is going to review the decision. So let's have a listen to the third umpire. Uh, Rick, we have a DRS review for court behind. Original decision is out. If I can see the front foot first, please. Thank you. Fair delivery. See front on spin vision, please. Okay, thank you. Yeah, give me Ultra Edge when available, please. Okay, just take that back one frame, please. Okay, I'm going to go back to Richard on field. Freeze that there, thank you. Illy, we have a spike as the ball is on the bat. You can save your original decision. You're on camera now. Yeah, confirmation of the decision. Richard Illingworth making the correct decision initially. And Marbus, Manus Labashain has to make his way back to the pavilion. And another five-wicket haul for Muhammad Abbas. What a series he's had. It's a surprise delivery, the short one on this occasion. Labashain goes for 43, Australia 155 for eight.